Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the opportunity. I would like to give our motion today. The motion is, this house declares online learning as long as corona exists. With the affirmative team strongly support that online learning as long as corona exists. Which and online learning is education that takes place over the internet. It's often referred to as e-learning, among other terms. Well, ladies and gentlemen, continue to our team split. I'm Renzi Kumalasari as the first speaker. I would like to deliver my argument about the advantage of online learning for students individuals. Our second speaker is Bella Permata Ayu. We will be talking about the advantage of online learning in financial context. And then our third speaker is Kevin Dare will rebut and sum up our team case. Dear ladies and gentlemen, now Indonesia is experiencing a disaster that is the exposure of the coronavirus. Not only in Indonesia, but also throughout the world. Therefore, the Indonesian government adopted a policy of working from home, doing everything at home, and then learning from home. Online learning is a policy taken by the government to maintain the security and safety of students. Besides those two things, there are many advantages of online learning as long as Kruna exists. Eric Bettinger and Susanna Lowe, Associate Professor of Education at Stanford University and author of the Brookings Institution study on June 10, 2017, stated that online education opens now opportunities for individuals to have more efficient time. Because learning not only has to be face-to-face, -face, but online learning can develop education. There are many advantages of online learning, such as students can wake up an hour later if needed, no running late, no falling asleep in class, no being late missing material, more time for research, do not have to wait to get home, many online schools supply you with technology. Student doesn't need to feel crappy all day working at school while sick because they are at home. Good online schools require daily attendance and will call if you teach. Ladies and gentlemen, overall, as long as they maintain social interaction and doesn't isolate themselves and is able to keep up with their work as they would in international school, especially before coronavirus is coming up, then online schooling is very beneficial. Not for lazy people because many public schools have lazy students who just fall asleep then ask for their friend's work. Lazy is not determined by school type but a rather work ethic. So ladies and gentlemen, Professor Alex Tabarok of George Mason University contributed the lead essay in which he explained he thinks online education work very well. He maintained that it has two principal advantage. First, online education is that it saves time in several ways. For one thing, students can save the time it takes getting to campus or the classroom. Also, online lectures can to be far more concise than face-to-face -face teaching. Students can fill and review the material quickly and then easily at their own pace and conveniency. That's good because for many students, the standard 15 minutes class period is far from ideal. A second, a second, online learning in age individualized teaching and the development of technologies, while some object that online education must be inferior with respect to individuals teaching. The Minister of Education and Culture of the Republic of Indonesia, Nadim Anwar Makarim, issued several policies about online learning. This true circular number four in 2020, dated 24 March 2020, this online learning is very helpful for the continuation of learning in this pandemic COVID-19. Um, apply e-learning in the minds of the coronavirus situation is not only beneficial to protect students from the spread of the coronavirus, but implementing e-learning can also build self-confidence and independence from students. Ladies and gentlemen, in addition, the advantage of the online learning systems are saving teaching and learning time reducing travel costs, saving overall education costs in the form of infrastructure costs, school equipment and school books, and reaching a much wider geographical, geographical area. There are several online learning options that can be studied at home, such as Zenius. Zenius Education is one of technology based education in Indonesia response to the policies of several local governments or PEMDA related to temporarily stopping school activities to prevent the spread of COVID-19 by freeing access to 80,000 learning videos on all platforms without, ex without exception. 
and and then ruang guru creeper cakap and any else that application can improve e-learning on the other hand another benefit of online learning when corona is there is more comfortable learning environment is students listen to lecturers or teachers and complete assignment family time and the important thing is no physical class session so ladies and gentlemen thank you so much Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh We'll continue to our team split I'm Sela Anissa As the first speaker, I will deliver my argument That is the negative of online learning For student individual Ladies and gentlemen Currently, conventional education Takes place with face-to-face -face method Where teacher will talk the dear student In two directions Distance learning or online lecture Is still a polemic there are still some pro and cons for those who cons stating that the implementation of online lecture is still hard to control how to ensure that the person who is learning or conducting uh, in exam is this case is seen still vulnerable to the program or the element integrity is hard to enforce the effect to nervous of face to face is immediately felt still cannot be replaced with uh, an online system social and psychological elements are less formal because they are are only one direction by looking at the video or not meeting directly emotionally together togetherness between teacher and those who are tough or fellow students are considered lacking some state that this online lecture will from a generation of antisocial as well as do consider as a negative impact of social networking. Dependent on internet connection and communication limitation is the main obstacle in the learning process. Not all countries recognize the online lecture model, including Indonesia. So far, the degree of stand from online university is not recognized by the government. Online lecture are another form of distancing uh, learning since 2007. The practice of the distance learning has been banned by the government and is considered illegal. This is based on a circular director of director general of Dicti number 595 d 51 2007 that's february 27 2007 which explained that the director director general of higher education since uh, the director director general of higher education since uh, 1997 has banned the implementation of a remote class model education and stipulates uh, that the diploma in Kuwait is unauthorized still weak regulation and supervision is feared to be a business mode to print scholar instantly uh, which of course injurious rules norms uh, noob and spirits of college uh, at present, the government still has its own words, uh, so it's still imposed and banned on the practice of distance learning. Change in the paradigm of the education from from conventional face to face to their classes into independent learning online is not easy. This is still requires the process of conducting the communicate the community continuously. The negative impact of online learning is the work system at home or with the term online college through the good application of ruang guru, classroom, Zoom, and more. This program is. Uh, still not run because of the limitation of the signal uh, because there are still many uh, students who live in direct area 
the lack of understanding of technology because not all students and teachers understand the advanced technology like now for students who do not understand it will uh, lose learning opportunities some student or teacher who do not have this cell phone can harm the student themselves in addition according to the experience of the online lecture system, the instruction gave, gave the assignment with as they wanted without knowing the limits of their student. Imagine with the existence of an online college system, every teacher gave each test with a short deadline. Imagine how the how the student divided time the time to do the added time the time to do the school assignment and also the mandatory work should be done uh, as help in addition the lack of interaction between teacher and student or even even between student itself so that it slow the formation of value in the learning and teaching process and also students who do not have high learning motivation tend to fail because there is not directly support from his friends and directly motivation from the teacher ladies and gentlemen thank you Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I is Desire Informative Speaker, and before I present my argument and reports, I will be contending once more the definition of this debate. Our opposition proposed that distance learning or online learning are still a polemic, and the organization of online lectures is still difficult to control. We contend that this definition is inaccurate and in that in place where we should define that topic as online learning is the best alternative and has many positive impact rather than negative impact to learn during the corona pandemic. Because when corona everyone is encouraged to maintain social distancing, then this definition is better and more reasonable. The first speaker of opposition contended that online learning will build the anti-social generation and be considered a negative impact of social media. But according to the center of the research on child and family of the University of East Anglia, England, thought that WhatsApp, Instagram, and other applications can help maintain healthy family relationship and friendship. Where, by doing online lecture, using applications such as WhatsApp and any application, we can communicate with others, we can still share information, this is no way uh, make us antisocial. The proof is that, I give an example. Speaking for debate subject, we can still debate, exchange ideas, and communicate to you that online lecture does not make us antisocial. Besides, Lecture are also not done 24 hours, so besides socializing via mobile, we can still communicate with family at home directly. Online lectures uh, does not make us become antisocial. In addition, according to our team, it is not appropriate if the opposition team say that studying or online learning is considered a negative impact of social media, because learning is not a negative thing. Instead, learning is a positive action that can make stupid be smart and have a good knowledge. And the first speaker of the opposition also said that since 2007, the practice of distance learning was banned by the government and was considered illegal. Illegal. The opinion of the opposition team is considered inaccurate at the time of the corona case right now. The law is contrary to the latest rules from the government of the corona pandemic. Because on March 24, 2020, the Ministry of Education issued a circular pandemic. The learning system was indeed carried out remotely. This was also conveyed by the Indonesian President Joko Widodo on 16 March 2020 who told us to keep learning from home and during this corona pandemic it's clear that applicable rules are specific rules relating to the corona. So now when corona is still there, distance learning is not illegal and it is actually recommended by the government. Next, the opposition team said that not all students or teachers understood technology, so they miss learning opportunities. In my opinion, if we want to learn, we will try. Everyone has the opportunity to learn, depending on the each individuals how they report to gain knowledge. Moreover, according to the Digital Marketing Research Institute, 
A marketer estimates that in 2018 the number of active smartphone users will reach 100 million. With such number, Indonesia will become the country with the fourth largest active smartphone user in the world after China, India, and America. This shows that more than half of half of Indonesian population is familiar with internet technology, so they don't have to worry about online learning. If they don't, if they don't have a smartphone, they can borrow to friend or family smartphone to send assignment. Again, it is the intention to learn that must be increased because our learning opportunities are same. Ladies and gentlemen. Our motion is this house will declare online learning as long as corona exists. My main argument is about advantage of online learning in financial context. Online learning during COVID-19 exists its best alternative because online learning has many advantage in a financial context. As long as we carry out online learning, then there are many benefits to be gained from the general learning. I give an example. If we do not do online learning and continue to the regular learning during this corona pandemic, Then the cost before before go to campus is the cost for transportation at least ten thousand rupiah per a day. Then cost eating is at least fifteen thousand rupiah a day. The cost we need is one hundred fifty thousand for a day because we only study for six day a week. That's just a minimum. Not to mention the money to pay for papers that have been printed photocopies. If in one week we collect one paper, then usually each person will collect five thousand rupiah per person. Try to calculate if if it is done in a month, then each person will pay twenty thousand rupiah per papers and photocopies. Already six hundred twenty thousand rupiah per month. The limit is not enough. Well, I just mentioned just the cost to go to campus for a month, but we know that not all people who go to college live with their parents. The data say that almost 70% student who go to college will rent a place to live. At the boarding house, they have to pay about 30,000 rupiah for Wi-Fi a month, not to mention the cost of eating at a minimum boarding house of 10 thousand rupiah in a day it takes three hundred thousand a month plus the cost of electricity one hundred thousand in a month and cost of lpg twenty five thousand rupiah per month then the quota cost of one hundred and five thousand in a month so let's calculate all the living cost for a month the amount is one million one hundred eighty thousand per month Wow, from this data we can compare it with online learning. If we do online learning, we only need one hundred thousand per month. Why I say like that? Because online learning only need quota fee. Especially during this corona pandemic, almost all students who had previously earned will go home and live with their families. Then all food cost and electricity will paid by the family. There is no more division of cost like that. We don't need transportation cost because with online learning we can learn only by staying at home and also we can still avoid corona because learning is mandatory for us. It's mandatory for us with online lectures. Learning becomes easier and cheaper. All we have to do is turn on cellular data. We can search for information on Google. Can read it electronically and it's free. We just need a smartphone. Just imagine if we had to buy textbook. The pay must fifty thousand rupiah, and sometimes the information is same with the internet. So we have lost. So he, there are so many financial benefits from online learning. We can save on living costs. While at the time of the COVID-19, we can anticipate the release of large amount of the money because we all know that income in this pandemic is reduced. So online learning can be easy without having to think about a lot of life expenses. Before I present my arguments and rebuttals. I will be contending one more the definition of this debate. Our opposition propose that online learning is not as good as easy for us, the college student. And also, online learning itself should be defined as the learning that we will get with the using of an internet. So my point here is, learning itself means that there will be the teacher who teaching and explain about the material. That the student will learn properly, but the fact that we've got right now is not as expected, because some of the learning that we got so far is we should learn it by ourselves and suddenly be given with a lot of hard task. And I see that the second speaker from the affirmative team said that 
the online learning has an advantage in financial context. But in here, me myself totally disagree about it. Because, as we know, to get connected with the internet means that we should have internet data or connected with Wi-Fi, right? Which means that we need to spend our money to buy the internet quota, which of course, the amount of it was high. It's kinda like 50,000 rupiah or above every time we bought it. So, have you ever wondered what it feels to be the one student that it's not rich enough? Or I mean, that the job of their parents that only make enough money for their basic needs. Such as clothes and foods and etc. Inevitably, they have to sacrifice their income to be shared with the children's need in purchasing the internet quota. So, what I mean here is that the campus staff or the university staff cannot just sit and don't even care with that thing. They have to give solution for that problem as soon as possible. For the example, give the student a money each month to buy an internet quota. And these things already been applied in some university in Bengkulu province like University of Bengkulu and University of Hazaren. But my university itself has not doing it. And now, I am Ferdi Octavian as the second speaker of negative team will deliver my argument of why online learning have a disadvantage for us. So why I said that e-learning was not as good stuff for us the students? First of all, it might be a lot of reason, but I will bring the most horrible one. As you know, the most important thing about online learning is the factor of how good the condition of our signal. But the fact is not all the learning is the factor of how good the condition of our signal. But the fact is not all the regions have a good signal. It's kinda sad to know that they should try and work even harder than us who have a strong signal to follow the online learning. For example, they need to climb the cliff or even the most ridiculous one is they need to climb up the tree to get a good signal itself. And sadly, the news that have been reported by thetechnews.com, there is a student from Muhammadiyya of Makassar was died while on her way to a location that has an internet network. She was about to do an online task, but she fell from her motorcycle and tragically died on the spot. And this is just an example of how online learning is also having this advantage. So that's all from me, the second speaker from the negative team. Thank you and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Peace to us. Ladies and gentlemen, before I start delivering my argument, my conclusion, I give you some advice. I hope we are all protected from this pandemic and we must support our government with the don't go anywhere just stay at home just stay at home dude come on we must support our government if you want to go someplace and it's not really really necessary we must wear mask and don't forget wasting our hand up to that I hope you do the rules I hope you do all that rules don't go anywhere dude just don't go anywhere my name is Kevin Darpo Sutar from the team who agree with the online college. As a speaker three from automatic team, I'll draw conclusion from what my brother my brother Perdi said. He said he has a grudge against grudge against online college. As long as you know, this freaking freaking disease is very, very dangerous. If you say we must spend our money, I think that's not really matter. This doesn't matter because we need a big sacrifice for a brighter future. I think our our parents is super for that, and our parents will do the best for that. And he's gonna, and them gonna, and they gonna fight for that. They also the pre, the party team, the negative team also said about. Some students do not understand about technology. 
Come on, dude, we are living in a modern world and the modern times. I had opinion from my team before. Many applications are made as simple as possible and easy to understand. I think this is not difficult, dude. With the number of big teams export COVID-19, we must learn from home. Just stay at home, as I said from the before. We must support our government with the don't go anywhere, just stay at home. This pandemic is very dangerous. I hope we all stay healthy. Keep ourselves good. Keep ourselves guys and thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. In this pandemic, I hope you always healthy and be protected by Allah Subhanahu wa taala. Okay, I'm Gina Ramadani, a speaker tree from Negative Team. I want you to this statement from Mr. Kevin, a speaker tree from Affirmative Team. Which say that it's okay or not problem to spend a lot of money to study online. Really? Okay, I think this statement is just for they that from upper middle class and have a lot of money. But how about the students from lower class? Based on a decision from the government that has reduced workers, it shows or it proves the economic prosperity of small people during this pandemic so and invariably they have to keep working and take big risk in order to eat and all the little people are suffocated in this situation so how can we say don't worry or or um, it's okay and not problem to spend a lot of money in this situation unemployment rate every day continues and increase while the needs continue online learning also greatly adds to existing expenses with the purchase of more internet quota make their expenses swollen every day and again they have to wreck their brains for that and what the small people can do now is Keep trying to survive and expect help from government for their survival. Okay, so based on the statement above and the evidence that is out there, then it can be said the online system learning or um, is one of the economic problems for all people, especially the small people. Okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, that's all from me. Keep healthy. Thank you. Stay at home. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.